Hey guys, hope everyone's having a good day. So today I wanted to do analysis on one of my favorite woman shot putter technicians and just overall just shot putters in general, Sarah Minton from Canada, who I've actually had the pleasure of uh, seeing compete in person um, years back before she really turned into Sarah Minton. Um, the, you know, Canadian national record holder, silver met defending silver medalist for the world's um, consistent, like, top five person and a bunch of major competitions, you know, throwing, like, 20, 60-something or whatever. I mean, just, like, a crazy, crazy good consistent thrower that I love to watch. Um, when I watched her, she only threw, like, 18. It was, like, early in the season, and I think it was back in, like, 2019 or something it, it, it was before she became like really really good not saying that 18 meters isn't really good but i mean compare that to what she is now yeah you, you see what i mean but um i've also had the pleasure of talking to her coach a couple times at meets and whatnot so it, it um never actually had to have a conversation with her in person but you know uh one of my favorite technicians really really like her throw um, I think her, Jessica Schilder, who I think I've done a video on, I think I did an underrated thrower's video of her. I'm not sure. So her, um, and, uh, I think those are my two favorite technicians and shot put. I know, uh, for, for women's, I mean, for rotational. Maggie, you and I are like to, Chase Ely, eh. I don't know, her throw, I know she throws really far, but it just looks so awkward to me. Like, I can't argue with the results, but, you know, it, it's just not my favorite to watch. Um, you, I'm not saying it's not good. I'm just saying it's, like, her style. Um, but let's get into Sarah Min. So, uh, let's just watch this a couple times. This is just a training throw I got off her Instagram. Um, no idea what the distance was, but it looks like a 19 plus meter throw. Most likely it looks really far. <laughs> so as you can see, pretty unique. Um, I just did a video, uh, a couple of days back about, uh, how to use the left arm out the back. And I mentioned, um, one of the theories is keeping the left arm in inside the left knee. And as you can see with her, uh, she is a prime example of that. So I use Trip Pippery as an example. Um, and I was having trouble figuring out who who else did this nowadays. And I completely forgot to even mention Sarah Min. Because, you know, she's probably the best at doing this in the shot put world currently. Um, and so once again, this is a training throw, so it's not the most technical. She lands in a little better positions than this usually. Um, not saying they're like bad, but they're not like the greatest, but, um, yeah, let's get into this. So let's just start from the wind. So already just super rhythmic stands a little far, far apart. Um, like not super far. Wow. Sorry. Um, <laughs> my mind, um, is, you know, doesn't have the toes, whoops, uh, against the, uh, the ring at the back. So kind of far apart. It could be because there's a slick spot, um, or something like that. So you'll see people do that sometimes, or she just throws like this. I actually haven't paid too much attention to that because, People filming throws just don't know how to f film throws. Like, this this is all we need, really. Just from the back. Just get the whole throw. We don't need the freaking action shots and stuff. Just show us the entire throw. So, yeah. But, that's a whole nother rant. Um, but, this isn't the interesting part about her. So, it starts pretty, pretty good here. So winds, so really doesn't move the upper body. So you notice that all she really moves is her, her arm. Her hips don't really move that much. And you notice that she keeps her head facing the same way as she started. So all she does is kind of wraps this left arm a little. Almost kind of like Adam Nelson. 
except because except she he would turn all the way back. Um, and then he gets here, and you notice that she kind of keeps her upper body back and holds it back, keeps his right grounded as long as possible, and just turns his left foot as much as possible. So you notice like the the distance between her knees here. And I love this because that creates that stretch in those hips. Uh, keeping both feet on the ground as long as possible. Keeping this hip, uh, keeping the upper body back. Keeping this hip out wide. I love that. So now she gets this super really nice here. So armpit over the left knee, over the left toe. So she she's really good over that. Still has the right foot on the ground. Which is really nice. Picks up there. Um, the sweep is pretty high here. And then sweeps low. So like that. Um, there are different camps. So there are some that say. You know just keep the sweep leg like low. Through the entire time. There are some who like it kind of high here. And then bring it low. But you notice when she's here. So when she's sweeping low. She's still going around and down. She's not just going up and down. There's the round component that I think a lot of people miss when they do this kind of style. Like here, I see a lot of people, um, like beginners and intermediate, they just kind of just fall in instead of actually just keep going around. So I think this is a prime example of her just keep going around so that you get that rotational component into the throw. All right, so really love that. Um, this head, normally I don't like, but it it doesn't hurt her really i normally don't like this because usually when her head when when your head and you're peeking this way you become super overactive with this left arm but i think she can get away with that for a couple reasons one is because she she holds she does a really good job of holding back this left uh this left side and her upper body while the left leg goes around and then once she's here She's still keeping this left leg active. And by this time, she's just looking at her arm. So I like to use, uh, if you're having trouble really yanking out the back and just like going way too fast, I like to say follow the left arm with your eyes to kind of keep your body in check. Um, that's a cue I use with some of my athletes and I've used in the past. Um, and she does a great job of that. So she just has her eyes on her left arm the entire time. And then gets here, so turns all the way out the back with the left. Really nice sweep, like I stated. And you notice, so this position is really similar to a uh, trip. In terms of not letting the left arm out here, she keeps it very rigid and very here. Alright, so, but then she brings it back in. So kind of like what Kovacs does. So as her right leg is going into the middle... Her left arm goes into her body. So what that does is one, it ex it slows down her upper body and really lets her right le leg accelerate into the middle. All right. And then it helps her keep her wrap and helps her keep her shoulders to the sector. So she lands wrapped and really good in, in the middle to the front. All right. So lands here. Uh, undercut it a little. Um, and... But, again, this is a training throw. This is not her best technical throw of all time, honestly. But it's not, like, the worst thing ever by no means. So, uh, I just like doing training videos instead of comp throws because I think it's a little more exciting um, to to analyze. Um, but, yeah, so she gets here. Really nice here. So, if you guys notice when she's here, her hip is facing this way now mo a lot of people have a really bad problem with sweeping with just their feet and they don't they don't use their glute so you notice when she sweeps her from her glute all the way to her foot is one active thing it, i'm sorry no is one active piece all right because usually what i see is here her butt would stay here and her legs would just keep going. All right, but here, her her uh, glute keeps going, right here, 
And so now our hips are facing that way. And that's what you want because you want the hip and the leg to be connected. All right. You don't want that kind of weird separation between those. All right. And I really love the really wide knees here. Um, I've said this countless times. I really like the wide knees or sorry, not squeezing the knees together because I believe that gives you a good counterbalance, provides a lot of rotational energy, allows you to slow down your um, upper body and find more separation in the throw. And I think it just is a little more natural and it helps you keep weight over this right leg, which she does a fantastic job of. Now, again, she kind of, so because she landed a little early, so she's kind of tilted back a little. Um, she's usually a little more down the middle, but I mean, that's like a very nitpicky thing. Um, so she kind of is a little tilted here instead of square. Um, she, her shoulders are kind of diagonal instead of just perfectly square to the sector. But I mean, it's not like the worst thing in the world. I mean, I bet you this is still like a 19 plus meter throw, which is a bomb. Um, so yeah. Uh, one thing that is usually not taught as a good thing is this uh, leg, this uh, left foot really high. Um, and I usually coach that the left leg does not usually go above the right knee. However, you know, uh, Adam Nelson, prime example of this, you know, a lot of throwers, uh, um, you know, Sarah Min, um, uh, can get away with this. Uh, I know Gerd Cantor did this. Um, a lot of throwers have done this. So, I mean, it's not like the worst thing in the world, as long as you're athletic enough to actually, you know, get it down fast. So you have to do a really hard sprint and push out the back, which she does very well. All right. You know, so when her right foot has weight on it, her left is already there. So that's really nice. And she keeps turning that right foot. Now, again, she's kind of falling a little back because she just landed just a teeny bit early. Um, but I really like this long left arm. This catch position is really nice. Um, and then she really, really, really cranks this right hip. All right. So because she fell back just a little bit um, like this way, uh, she's off the right just just a tiny bit early for my liking but again she's literally one frame on the ground and then one more frame that shot's basically out of her hand if i go one more frame yeah so really it's out of her hand here like to like the frames can't even pick up how fast that release is so i mean the, it is very nitpicky um the complaints i have about her throw not really complaints more um and it's really just this particular throw. I haven't actually really broken down Saruman in like this kind of sense before. Um, I've obviously broken down her throw, but I've never actually talked about her, like done like a full video essay on it. But yeah, like it's, it, it's, I love it. I think that this and Jessica Shielder are really good technical models for woman shot putters because they throw with a lot more separation than the guys do simply because it is a 4k and you can just overpower it so i mean yeah um so yeah you can just get away with a little more stuff and i think that woman throwers in both discus and shot put can throw with a little more separation shot put not nearly as much as discus um you know because you know it is still a little heavy um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, I just love her throw, um, her reverts. So what I really like about this though, is that when her, when her right foot is off the ground, her shoulders are square to sector and the shot is almost out of her hand. A bad sign is if it was in the, if she was in this position and the shot put was still kind of near her neck, that is not a good sign. That means you are way too upper body dominant. And uh, not really using your legs into the throw, all right? Or you're trying to throw way too early. So those are usually tall tail signs of that. Because then what will happen is that your shoulders will face this way while the shot is, out, is coming out of your neck instead of here. 
So then you're you're over rotating or you're yanking this left side or you're pulling or you're just doing a whole bunch of stuff wrong. And she does a really good job of having this patient, patient left side waiting until the left foot actually has weight on it. So right here she catches now actually has weight on it and sh the shot put is still back. So she opens his left arm to get that stretch reflex from her chest um, to help her snap that shot through. And then turns, release, and reverse. So her left foot landed here. Right foot reversed straight into it. So that tells me that she got all that energy into the shot put and into her block. And by the way, she has a fantastic block. Um, so I know like she doesn't have her heel down. I, I like to think of the block you can do it two ways. You can have just a flat foot. Or um, you can, or you can do this where the toe, or like the ball of the foot is still on the ground, but it's going into the toe board, so it, it kind of just is super solid. Um, either way works. I kind of prefer this kind of style for um, a reverser and shot put, uh, as opposed to a heel, because I, I like the, because you need a little more of that um, lift. Then, then in discus, just a little bit more. Um, so, yeah. I mean, but, I mean, you can throw the flat. It does, it's more of a personal preference thing to me. Or if you just have trouble just jumping and stuff. Or not holding a really solid block. Like, if you can't hold a block. Like, it's much harder to hold a block with this kind of block. So, if you can't hold a block, I would recommend... Um having a uh, heel down on the block so a flat foot to teach you how to have that solid block um because you know it kind of forces you to but uh yeah overall really really nice throw so we'll watch it one more time i mean overall just so nice so i know like it kind of looks a little herky jerky but when you really break it down, it, it's really not. You know, she she. there's no point where she just, like, fully just stops. Even here, it's like she uses this left leg to get that stretch in her hip. And then she goes. So it goes, like, fast, slow, fast, faster. All right. So it's, like, a weird timing because most people would just open and go. Whereas her, nothing moves except this left leg, and then she goes. Alright, so, it is not, is very atypical, but, I mean, it works, and it gets the job done. Um, I wonder if later in her career she'll smooth it out. I don't think she really needs to. Um, I think she does that on purpose to feel that stretch. Um, and it definitely makes you a lot more consistent. But, yeah. Overall, I mean, I just, I, I love this throw. Even though it's not, like, the best technical throw she's ever done, it's still a beautiful throw. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to analyze anybody else. Um, and, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.